Okay, this is Mr. Ruby, and I'm going to do a quick explanation of momentum versus inertia. Looking at this video, a tail of momentum and inertia, inertia. Let's start the video. Can I do this? There we go. So you have this big rock guy up here. And as he's moving the rock, all right, the tendency of the rock right here to stay in place, that's inertia. Overcoming the inertia, the mountain guy is moving it. So once he gets it moving, there, he's moved it. But wait, now it's starting to slide. So the rock is sliding down the hill. The object's in motion. How much force is it going to take for this guy to stop this rock? Well, the rock's moving. The force to stop the rock is the momentum. The moving rock's the momentum. So now the rock's moving. It has momentum. Mass times velocity. And it doesn't want to change what it's doing. It's moving. It still wants to keep moving. It has that inertia. So it's overcome that inertia right now. And now these little things are coming out. Trying to stop it. And now he's holding it back. And now he's releasing that inertia on the small castle below. That was momentum versus inertia. So remember... Momentum is how hard it is to stop an object, and inertia is the object's resistance to change in this motion. All right, I hope that makes things clearer.